Welcome back to Authentic Alphas, guys. It's your boy, Allende. Right now, I'm in the IMAX movie theater getting ready for uh, The Batman. So, obviously, you probably guessed I'm about to do another movie review. So, I'm ready, man. Super fucking excited. I know a lot of you guys are interested in seeing The Batman. We've been waiting on this. We're going to see if the boy Robert Pattinson is going to do his thing. Hollywood. Or, uh, <laughs> well, I've already seen a, a couple of... Uh, reviews for the movie already so we, we know that it's good that's for sure we know it's going to be good so i'm um, looking forward to it so i got about nine minutes till showtime i'm um, looking forward to the previews also if there's going to be any um you know and and post credit scenes so i'm gonna let you guys know how it was i'll probably end up watching the movie twice this weekend as i always notice something different every time i watch a movie so i'll probably watch it about two or three times within this month definitely two times this weekend because don't tell my girl but uh <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and watch it first on my own um and then i'm gonna take her to see it tomorrow night so i'll let you guys know if it's a a, a good um you know date date movie um and probably definitely something you want to go see with your boys uh, so so probably a third time i go see it i'll probably go see it with my cousin because he's a huge dc fan you know i've always been more of a marvel guy but after the snyderverse i've been leaning more towards uh dc so i'm definitely looking forward to what this is this is going to be like the uh standalone joker movie was pretty good i didn't like it as much as most but I, I did think it was a lot better than i expected it to be so um like i said guys just looking forward to batman um basically just killing time with you guys right now let's get it guys looking forward to it and i'm looking forward to some really cool previews also i'm looking forward to selena kyle seeing uh what um lenny kravis's daughter does with um catwoman and um yeah man i guess that's pretty much all i can say for right now and i'm looking forward to giving you guys my feedback and um hopefully you guys get to make it out and see the movie opening weekend uh you probably want to see an earlier show because i was kind of just looking around the, the the city and everything is pretty much sold out for anything that takes place after 5 p.m so anyway we'll see what it do guys all right i'll see you in a little bit All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back I'm, uh, to kicking it in the IMAX. Just finished watching the uh, Batman, and boy, first of all, let me turn down the excitement because I'm actually no longer excited at all. <laughs> now, with that being said, I am in no means saying that the movie wasn't phenomenal. What I'm trying to say is that it just doesn't give you that type of energy. What's good? Welcome back to Authentic Alphas. It's your boy Allende, and I'm kicking it with Natalia. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> with Natalia. So anyway, we're just wrapping it up here. Um, as you can see, we're drunk off of uh, popcorn and soda pop. Yeah, I'm, I'm covering my belly right now. <laughs> yeah, she has. A, um, I ate way too much popcorn. Would you eat popcorn, raisinets? No, raisinets. Um, M and M's. Some M and M's. Yeah. All right, well, listen, we just watched The Batman. I confess, it's my second time. This is the most non-superhero superhero movie you will ever watch. So are you mad at me that How I watched the movie? How can you, like, endure six hours? Six hours of yeah, The Batman? Wow, three hours is way too much for me. My butt hurts. Well, first of all, I'm going to start off by saying the film couldn't have been any better. Uh, when they first announced that they were making this film, I was like not very optimistic at all the first thing i thought to myself was do we actually need another batman standalone movie i'd rather just continue with the snyderverse and what they were doing with that then when they announced that robert pattinson was playing batman i was like what the f is going on here how can the guy from twilight be batman when they announced that the riddler was going to be the villain again i was like this isn't this isn't going to look like it's going to be good when I saw that they race swapped Commissioner Gordon, again, I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> where are they going with this? Then they said that Colin Farrell was playing the Penguin. Wait, what? 
everything that was released about this movie didn't seem like it made any sense whatsoever. <sighs> anyway, well, I don't expect you to be able to relate, but <laughs> watching superhero movies for me is a dream come true. When I was a kid, I had to use my imagination. This now, movie could not have been here, any better. So it's safe to say that the director knew what he was doing. Hey, we definitely enjoyed the movie. Well, did you enjoy the movie? Yeah. It was okay? It so, was good. So? It was different. Well, she admitted she wasn't as invested as I was. Yeah, of course. All right, so listen, I'm going to get to you first. So tell me what were your favorite things about the movie? How realistic it was. Like, hmm. you know, like, no so much, like, special effects and stuff, like, more human Right. The, the, the most human I've seen a Batman being. So. Well, that's exactly what I said. Or what I thought. Mm. Or what I said when I saw the movie without you. Well, we're both agree now. Are you upset about that? Am I going to hear about it later? Uh, no. It's okay. fine. I think she's... You just didn't say anything. I don't know what... I think she's, she's... she's she's. I'm going to hear about it later, guys. She's acting like she's okay about it, but she was pissed that I saw the movie without her. But I did it for you guys. So this is the darkest Batman movie they've ever made. Yet, it did not need an R rating. It's a sacrifice that I make because you hate the YouTube channel altogether anyway. Yeah, I don't even follow you. <laughs> Good. I wish you wouldn't. I mean, I'm not even subscribed. I, so. I wish you wouldn't. Okay. Um, but yeah, but anyway, back back to the movie. I, I like the fact that every character was, was humanized in this movie. There really is no supernatural aspect. Nobody has any powers. No, noth None of the stories are unbelievable. Everything is very, very, um, like she said, human. The director, hats off to him. He definitely had a vision and he executed that vision. I shouldn't ruin the cameo but there is a, a surprise cameo in there. Definitely a surprise, because I didn't even hear about it, so I, didn't, I had no idea that this person was gonna be in there. It was like rumored that this character would be in there, but they definitely did uh, drop a couple of um, Easter eggs in there, so that's something to look forward to. Um, I was disappointed that Ben Affleck didn't go ahead and direct and star in this movie when they announced it, but I think that uh, Mr. Twilight did a, he did a good job. Yeah, he did a pretty damn good job. So as a female, I'm going to ask you, how did you feel about the chemistry and the romance between... Oh, yeah. I just love her. You so let me I finish. I know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> the dynamic oh, oh, between the bat and the cat, you have never seen it other than in the comics. And that's another thing that I want to mention about this movie. No Batman movie has captured the essence of the graphic novels as well as this movie did. Even the villains, you, you, you get their motivation, you understand where they're coming from. Gotham City itself has emotion and pain in this movie. And if you're a fan of Seven, which is a classic movie, Morgan Freeman, Brad Pitt, one of Brad Pitt's best movies, if not I don't know what it is. Uh, if you're a fan of um, Saw, Zodiac, Suspense Thrillers, you'll love this movie. Okay, so you like the dynamic between Catwoman and, and or the cat and the bat. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I liked it. I liked yeah. it. She's okay. just so sexy. I like her even more than him. She's sexier than him. Really? Yeah, I don't like him. I mean, the chemistry was okay, but mm. him, is, for me, is not attractive at all. That's my, I don't know, my opinion. Well, I mean, that's why I got to give it to him because I really didn't like the idea of Robert Pattinson playing Batman. Right. But he kind of won me over. But you know, like this perspective about being more human, weaker. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of no, like no, no. A, has that, a weak look. Right. <laughs> I'm, gl have I'm like glad she brought that up because that was like the first thing that pissed people off after hearing that he was going to play the Batman is that like the first public statement he made was by the way I'm not working out <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm not going to work out I'm not going to buff up for this role and people were like what what, what? Yeah. You're, you're not even going to take it seriously you're too scrawny as it is but trust me guys there's a reason for why they wanted a frail <laughs> um, vulnerable mm. Um, actor to play Batman so they, they I definitely see where the director was going I think it was extremely risky which is why I gotta say they pulled it off um, and the fact that DC actually let 
the, them do this and give the director that much creative control and took such a chance on a franchise that we're so used to seeing portrayed so different differently yeah i think that was um no i was gonna ask you like mm -hmm. if like all the heroes their look is like they're muscular all of them and now this uh mm -hmm. this batman is, doesn't look like that it looked like skinny but you said this um movie during the movie you told me that is very very true to the comics so that's how the batman no I don't know, no no, no, no not not in the physical sense although it makes a lot of sense why he's like that it is actually realistic that he is like that. I don't want to spoil too much, guys, but there's a reason why they went with that, um, with that physicality. Um, but what I was going to say about it being extremely accurate to the comic is that not only are the characters personality-wise almost exactly like the comic, other than the Riddler, but I like the fact that they went a different direction with the Riddler because I think you would have to. I think you would have to, to bring him into a realistic world. I think he would have to be a little bit um, different. So they did put a lot of seriousness uh, into the Riddler. He's a very different Riddler than the comic. But the dialogue and the relationship, the chemistry between uh, Lieutenant Gordon, notice I said Lieutenant and not Commissioner, um, is very accurate. The dynamic between Catwoman and Batman, the dialogue is like literally ripped right out of the pages of the comic. Mm -hmm. The conversations mm -hmm. that they have, right, and the things that they say to each other, mm -hmm. the way they fight, the way they interact with one another, um, is very, very on point, very accurate. Throughout this entire movie, I know you guys have heard by now, it is all about the nuance, all about his detective skills, which is something that we've never seen on the big screen. And, you know, we've seen it in the cartoons. Now, one aspect of Batman's capability, personality, and character that we have never seen in a film is the world's greatest detective. That's like Batman's like nickname, right? The world's greatest detective is in this movie. So we finally got the crime-solving Batman that we've been waiting for. And boy, did they deliver. I did touch a little bit on the dynamic between Batman and Selina Kyle. And they couldn't have done that better. This movie was extremely emotional. Pretty much every character cried except for uh, Lieutenant Gordon. And notice I said Lieutenant Gordon. Um, also, the Batmobile was a beast. But yet, it was none of the fancy bells and whistles that we have come to be accustomed to when you think of the Batmobile. So that was another thing I found interesting about this movie is that his gadgets were nothing like we've ever seen them before. None of them were to the magnitude that we would expect from Batman's gadgets. That's usually a staple of Batman movies. It's like, what are they gonna do with the gadgets this time? They literally peeled it back. Like, it's not about that. But then again, it is about that. I don't know what to tell you. The special effects in this movie are minimal. The fight scenes and the action is so real. It's like watching a UFC fight. All right, what else do I want to touch on? Mm. The Batcave. This is the most realistic Batcave we've ever seen. Hands down, by far, the most realistic Batcave we've ever seen. Um, I don't want to give away too much, but I want you to know that in this movie, all the little things count. I mentioned that the sounds, the use of sounds in this movie is just... I don't even know what to tell you about that. It's, you're going to have to see it. Okay? Um, the risk. The amount of risk that was in making this movie. You could see that DC really, really gambled on this. They gambled on this guy more so than they did with the Joker, and that was a gamble. And if I, if I, if I had to compare it to anything that DC's done before, the Joker is the closest thing. Because if you look at the Joker, they took out all the extra shit, and they just made a movie about a guy that was dealing with mental illness. And I guess that guy was the Joker. And the same way that that guy had really nothing to do with, say, the Joker, it was just about that particular guy, this movie has like nothing to do with Batman. It's just Bruce Wayne. Yet 90% of the movie, he's Batman. I don't know what to tell you, it's strange. This is the best Batman voice that we've ever heard, yet it was the most natural and organic Batman voice 
that we've ever heard. So this is another thing you look for in Batman movies, is the voice that they decided to go with. Uh, another thing that I want to touch on is um, how we finally get that, that bat and the cat dynamic that you get in the comics. I was a fan of, of the comics. I, I, I read Batman comics, so there are so many lines in this movie that are literally taken directly out of the comic. Um, that's another thing I want to talk about, is the conversations that are had in this movie, the way the characters speak to each other, it, it, it was so real, it was so realistic, like these are really cops talking, this is really bat, uh, Batman talking, or this is like everybody, it doesn't seem like it was lines in a movie, it's just they were talking, and the acting, like I said, was perfected, so everything went really smooth, the way that Batman interacted with the police, it was exactly how it is in the comics. So a lot of this movie was just so risky, but yet they pulled it off. So I gotta, I gotta give it to them for that because a lot of these things, if they did anything the slightest bit off, it would have been like, why'd you even try to do that? Um, so I have to give it to them for the risk taking, which is usually something you're not gonna see with a character as big as Batman. Um, so they are definitely setting a new standard as far as realism. Um, and I think I kind of want to leave it at that, guys. I don't want to. I don't want to say too much. Obviously, this was a no spoilers kind of thing. I didn't, you know, I didn't give you any kind of spoilers. There are some characters that you might not have expected to see that you do see. So I'm not going to give that away. And um, there's definitely going to be a sequel to this. There's definitely going to be a sequel to that. I'm not saying that because of the way the movie ended or what was in it. Just you can tell that DC is going to say, okay. Let's try, let's do this again. I can tell they're gonna say, let's do this again. This movie was so much about the script, so much about the characters, so much about the dialogue, the writing, the storyline. And you, you just would never think, I, swear, I, I, I tell you, I would've thought I would've died and they never would've made a Batman movie like this, okay? Like the way that they did this, you're gonna look at it and you're gonna say, this movie could've not been Batman. This could've just been like some guy. And throughout the movie, you're like waiting for something Batman-y to happen or something drastic to happen. But what they did was they took simplistic, normal things, themes, concepts, and they they used it to the fullest extent. They maximized on just real life, everyday things. If that makes any sense. And notice the other movies I compared it to you are all movies that have nothing to do with something supernatural. I mean, you got the Zodiac Killer. That was like a real person. You know what I mean? You have Seven. That, that was a real person. Um, and what else did I compare it to? Any detective movie, any suspense thriller, you know what I mean? They're just regular human beings. So this movie is all about this. And of course, it's in the comics heavy, but we finally got a, a full-fledged world's greatest detective, which, I mean, how could you leave that out, right? If you guys, if you know anything about Batman, that's like one of the key characteristics of his skill set is his um, ability to solve cases. So he's more in the mind than actually the body. But when you think of Batman, you think of the fighting, the you know, the grappling, the gliding, the, the being on the rooftops. Batmobile. So right, yeah, the, uh, the Batmobile. I mean, so this movie does an excellent job of keeping things simple, yet maximizing on those key aspects. I mean, everything from the costume, the Batmobile, the bike, uh, and keep in mind, nothing is, you know, w what it, what we are familiar, like what we know these characters to be, they're not them yet. So right. the Penguin isn't the Penguin yet. Um, Catwoman isn't Catwoman yet. Batman technically isn't even Batman yet. He's not referred to as Batman at all throughout the entire movie. Not once is he referred to as Batman. Except for the Riddler was calling like the letters. Yeah, but you have to understand the Riddler is like the first person to call him the Batman. Exactly. So and that's what I'm saying. Like, right. Except for him. When, when he's saying that, nobody knows who the fuck that, he, that he's talking about. Mm -hmm. so, th so he's still taking on the whole concept of representing vengeance. Um, right. So yeah, so even the Riddler, I think, you know, he's calling himself the Riddler, but they're not familiar with him yet as the Riddler. So anyway, it's somewhat of an origin story for everyone other than Batman, which I think is a breath of fresh air because that's one of the biggest complaints people make is how many times do we need to see Batman's parents die? <laughs> like how many times do we have to go through this? Everybody knows Batman's parents die and then he, you know, he's looking for justice, right? So anyway, guys, the point is it was a great film. 
you almost wouldn't even characterize it as a superhero film. Uh, it was more of a suspense thriller, more of a um, you know mystery. So it falls more in line with obviously Seven and the Zodiac, films like that when you're trying to solve the case, you're trying to solve the mystery. So it was definitely a lot of fun to go through it. I don't think it really got boring at any point for a three no. hour long movie. Yeah. It didn't feel like it was three hours, honestly. Yeah, which says a lot like, coming from you because yeah. why? <laughs> she couldn't even make it through the Justice League, so that should tell you something. Because the Justice League was was awesome, right? Yeah, but I it was so asleep. much more action packed. I fell asleep a couple of times. I like. Yeah, we tried to watch that movie so many damn times. Yeah, but we were at the bed. Like the bed is Hold different. On. Like, like my bed is so comfortable. Come on. Honestly, the first time we watched Justice League, we didn't even attempt to watch the whole movie. Like we literally said, so we're gonna watch one and a half hours of Justice League and then we're going to come yeah, back. Yeah, we're continuing because we're not going to last the bet. <laughs> we want a clear, a clear cut off mm. around one and two. I think we should watch the Justice League again. What? Oh yeah, we should. Yes, sorry. Should. <laughs> I was really looking forward to, to a Ben Affleck standalone, but um. But the thing is like the movie has so many parts that we already seen. So it was like, okay, where are the parts that we... Which movie? Oh, it's my Justice League? Justice League. Oh, I watched it's it without Cut, you. It's like the same movie, I it just with you. the... Uh, hmm? I watched it without you. Like, in it's in entirety. Oh. Yeah, like I from beginning it. to end. Oh, wow. I don't know where the hell you was at, but <laughs> at some point in time, I watched the See, whole shit. He watches movies without me. Yeah, well... What are you going to do? When I try to watch movies with you, something else always happens. Anyway, guys, so get out, go see the movie. Oh, so would you you'd recommend it as a date movie? Yeah. You're gonna spend three hours with your love. Well, it might not be the lover. It might just like. Oh, might, sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Might, Are might, you talking about a couple or? Yeah, well, just taking a female that she likes superhero movies. You, do, you, know, do, like do, you, you, you didn't. You don't like Batman that much. I don't. But you're more of a Henry uh, Cavill kind of girl. You making yeah, that face? And Thor. Why are you trying to lie? Yeah, exactly. You're more <laughs> guys that I look nothing like. Oh. Suspicious. Yeah, no, and um, I like Iron Man. But just the movie, the character, it's not the man. Just the, what? Okay, Iron okay Man, so Iron what do you like about Iron Man? That he's rich? That he's a. No. <laughs> that like, he's a billionaire or is it that he's a philanthropist? Philanthropist. Yes, what does philanthropist, philanthropist mean? <laughs> Stop it. What does You're philanthropist mean, baby? Here. <laughs> Full of shit. <laughs> what the hell do you like about okay. Tony Stark? Okay, so uh, the video was about reviewing <sighs> the movie, right? Uh -huh. So yeah. So, yeah. so this stay, stick to a, that. Let's stick to that. I'm gonna have a bone to pick with you later on. Uh, yeah. Really, really though. Would mm -hmm. you watch it again? Mm, I don't know. You right now, wait, you I wait, feel you like no. You gotta wait for it to come home. You have to wait for you later, maybe, because right now we say no. It's too long. Yeah, but she's a, a, a Lady Kravis daughter fan now. I don't even know her name. So we. So look at you. No, it was reading the the. What do you think about her acting and her performance in this movie? Huh? What do you think so, about her performance in this movie? Now I want to talk a little bit about the acting. Perfected. I'm looking for something to say negative about this movie. I don't know if I have to see it twice or three times to find a flaw. And maybe they're just isn't. There's a couple of things I took notes about that I kind of want to just hit on before I get out of here. So the realism as far as the emotion. This movie is filled with pain. The pain of Bruce Wayne, the pain of Selena Kyle. It was terrific. I loved it. I was just looking at her face like she's I wouldn't pretty. say terrific though. I liked it. I think she did good, but I think she had one of the weaker performances. Oh, I I, 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 well, if you compare it to right. the rest, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I think she did a good job, but if you compare it to the acting performance of the rest of the cast, she did good. Come on, shut up. I said that she looked, she did good, but you said another word. You said, yeah, I said and terrific. You said terrific, right? So terrific, I wouldn't give it terrific. I would say Colin Farrell did a terrific oh. job as the Penguin. Yeah. He did an excellent job. I think the dude that played the Falcone. Gordon, oh, that, that I think he did an amazing job. And the, the ten, Lieutenant Gordon. And the guy that played the Riddler did an amazing oh, yeah. job. And the guy that played the 
surprised Cameo did an amazing job. I'm when actually I, looking when forward to him. When I saw the face of the Riddler, role. I was like, what other movie have I seen him? He's been in a lot of movies. I just can't remember his name. And he always plays a so creep. So familiar to he me, always, that he face. He always plays a creep or a pervert or, 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 or a, um, something. Uh, or a... Uh, some type of insult. A nerd. He's always like a nerd or something. Some, oh, somebody very that's smart. That's a derogatory term. Can you apologize? You can't just go around saying nerd. That's like the other N-word. Sorry. Is that the other end one? I'm joking. I don't give a damn what what offensive words you say. Okay. But yes, he does always play a very awkward, uh, ill-adjusted... Like uh, super character. intelligent, like right. super smart. And he did an excellent job. He has job. that look like a... Yeah. No, no, he did a really good, he did a really good yeah, job of, 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 of playing that. So um, don't, I am a little disappointed that Falcone died, but I guess... I guess they're not going to do anything with him in the future anyway. He wasn't like the type of character you would really adapt for the big screen anyway. But in the comics, Falcone played a major key in Gotham. He was very intricate. Not that he wasn't intricate in the movie. He was. He was literally a very key component of this movie. Um, oh, shit. We probably weren't supposed to say that. I have to edit that out. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna have to edit that out, man. That'd be the one spoiler, guys. All right. So listen, we're going to get out of here because she's getting cranky. Yeah, because uh, the, 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 the people that clean the room is about to bust it. No, they're not. Okay. You act like I, I don't have pull around here. Okay, we can just you turn act, off the camera. You act like I don't uh, slap fives and head nod and make requests and mm -hmm. I got this. Okay. All right, so enjoy your free popcorn and, and uh, Diet Coke. You, and you pay free popcorn? You weren't paying attention. I told you that they... Okay. They, yeah. I'm the man around here. I'm You're kind lying. of a big deal. Lying, yeah. Oh, now I'm lying. Yeah. Okay, Falcon. Oh, okay, Mr. I'm lying. Wayne. Says okay, Mr. Wayne. I, I'm lying. Mr. Says Mr. the. Mayor. I'm lying. Says the. Uh, <laughs> says the woman that got two free passes just walking through the front door. Yeah. Yeah, but exactly. You still owe me for your ticket. How I, I owe you for something that you? Get. Yeah, you wanted to come here. I bought the tickets, and turns out that you already you already saw the movie. Yeah, no, you I, owe me the ticket. I already know, but I didn't see the movie here, so it has nothing to do with here. Okay. Still with it. But you know what? But they took care of me over there too, though. Okay. Bye. Let's go. People like authenticity. What I can I say? The mic she's listen. The she's always hating on me. When people like me and they look out, she's like always hating. Like yeah. she's like, why do you do that for you? Now I want to talk a little bit about the acting. Perfected. I'm looking for something to say negative about this movie. I don't know if I have to see it twice or three times to find a flaw. Or maybe they're just isn't. There's a couple of things I took notes about that I kind of want to just hit on before I get out of here. So the realism as far as the emotion. You're a superhero too? How much you want to bet? What's your no, name? No, what's your no, superhero no. name? No, what's sound? The sound effects. The Batmobile was just a car. His motorcycle was just a motorcycle. And the Batman was just a man. Hey guys, go see the Batman. Everything about this movie was so simplistic, yet it was used so well that it was so complex. Go see with your boys and also see it with... But just know that this is going to be the most classic and rememberable Batman movie we have ever gotten. And the title, The Batman, could not have said it any better. The movies that you want to watch. I'm sorry, you were asleep at some point. Did I? <laughs> I don't even know when I fall asleep through a movie. Did I really fall asleep though? Yeah, you did. You're tired. I was just resting my eyes. And you started uh, like, <sighs> like Did I really? Looking both ways like. <laughs> because you know why? Because I'm so, I'm so hard working. That's exactly. why. Exactly, what I'm, did I just say? Because I'm so, all right. We're out of here, guys. Enjoy it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We're out of here. Let's keep it authentic. Hit me up on those requests. Okay. You gonna say good night or what? Good night. Why are you saying? Say it like you mean it. Say good it like, night. Good night.